Okay, this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and I'm here to cut uh, my soap, Jazzy Pineapple. Got its name because there's jasmine mixed with the uh, pineapple fragrance. Oh, that is cool. I like that. It was not what I was going for originally. But if you saw the making of video, you saw that this started to really accelerate. So I had to um, abandon my original plan. It's almost what soap making is all about. And it has just a little touch of red in it. Just one a little bit. It was, remember, um, I got the design idea from my painting um, of the blue zebra. I'm happy with the result. I still alternated between two in the pot swirls and this involved some six different colors with just a little touch of red. I like these little swoops. And lately my cell soaps have been gelling, so they've been cutting really nicely. They don't, the soap doesn't stick to the knife. Sort of reminds me of like the face of Jupiter or something. Did you know they had soap storms on Jupiter? I did not know that until just now. Swirling is just a lot of bang for the buck. I mean, you get all this, it looks like you spent forever getting those details in the soap, but you really didn't. This touch of red is just almost only there and there. But it seems to be happening in almost just about all the bars I've seen so far. So that's good. If you're accustomed to cooking and folding in some ingredient, that's kind of like the stirring that I did in this one. I, I folded it in and then stopped before the colors really integrated completely. Yeah, it's actually pretty amazing how that red, that little bit of red, did spread out to the whole loaf. I like this blue in there too. Okay, so let me um, put this one in front of the camera and say Thanks for watching again, and I'll, I will include at the end of this video what they look like when they're all cleaned up and photographed. So thanks again. I'm glad this one worked out, and I'll see you later. Bye.